everybody, welcome back. As always, my name is Light Liker, and today we are gonna be jumping into a new investigation again. And it's been a while since the last one, and I've been mostly busy also working on a little on two other investigations, which still need more digging to make actually a solid case against them. I don't make these videos on a whim. It takes a lot of time and information to actually make a case against any project. But let's talk about the project in question, which is called Dist X. And this is obviously not a stranger to the channel because I have already talked about it on my previous video back in September called the Unitrade Investigation. Definitely go check out that video first before watching this one due to the fact that these are kind of part of the same grandiose scam story and that is kind of like the part one and this is kind of like the part two. Now, what happened basically 12 hours ago, Dist Axe owner Adrian Deleuz basically announced that the project is gonna be abandoned because the token prize wasn't good enough. And this is very typical of Deleuze, as you can see, and if you have seen already. How can you check if a team's gonna scam you, right? It's a valid question. The first episode on that whole Unitrade investigation, and there were a bunch of things that they didn't end up delivering, which were part of their roadmap, such as this Dex. I'm not sure did the auditing platform actually release on today or earlier, according to their roadmap. And there's always also was a bit of delay on the actual release of the normal platform. And let's kind of get into the statements that were in the made, made in the Telegram, which by the way is closed now, which is into my opinion, doesn't really make a lot of sense to close, well, any chat on, you know, preemptively such so soon after the announcement of closure has been done because people have many questions still regarding where can I sell, where can I buy these tokens, and etc. I mean, nobody would want to buy at this point because the project is <laughs> effectively abandoned unless there's going to be another token that is going to be giving out airdrops based on holders or something like that. And basically, Adrian says here, we had to close down. We didn't sell a single token ever, allegedly. We don't know if that is true. And are keeping liquidity up. Any remaining company funds, 100K, which by the way, they didn't raise a lot of money. We're gonna be diving into that number soon. We used to buy and burn, so people have a way to recoup loses. Now, there were a lot of people who didn't get to sell and really got fucked in this whole deal. I'm not sure is there any liquidity anymore in Uniswap or pretty much anywhere you can sell these tokens on Probit or etc. to basically get rid of these tokens. I mean, when you look at this chart right here, you can see that it has been going <laughs> minus 88% on the last 24 hours, which is not a good sign. But then again, on a hindsight, I mean, the token started out at 16 cents, peaked at 17, and then they at some point just decided that, hey, we have gone approximately like half of the value to, I mean, approximately like, not exactly a third, but maybe around like 60, 70% of the value was lost, and then they said, we're gonna call it quits. But there are a lot of projects which have gone 90% down from their all-time highs and still kicking up and going. So to me, it's a, it's a bad excuse to say that, oh, we're going to be quitting. And they have some reasoning on their Telegram chat in case you want to look into that. Uh, I wasn't really impressed by those uh, claims and arguments. I think they were pretty weak. I think this was already pre-planned, a bit of an exit. The final example is when a team just never delivers a product. It's kind of the worst rug pull, in my opinion, because there's literally nothing you can do about it. You can look into a team, you can read into a team, and you can decide whether or not you think they're going to deliver, but at the end of the day, you don't know their intentions and nobody does. Also, here's probably where some of that money went to. Uh, Adrian spammed on Elio's chat on some super chats to shield the dist acts, and obviously there were some other partnerships with dist acts and YouTubers, which we're going to be getting into a second. Um, such as Crypto Lifestyle, which is kind of known from um, <laughs> hyping a lot of DeFi hype coins and a lot of these trash coins in general. Um, and then there is the, um, well, actually, let's get into this bit later on this chat or this video. So um, as some already know, I did the Unitrade investigation on September 3rd, and that went a lot into the history of two people, uh, Reborn and Deleuze. 
Now, this is what happened with Unitrade. So what you have to understand that before Unitrade existed, there was the Ghost Project by McAfee and before that was Switch, which both Reborn and Deleuze worked on. And then they decided, hey, I'm going to be raising some money um, to create this Unitrade project, which is, by the way, on the dumpster right now. And then obviously what is missing from here is that um, Geo created the Unilayer, which hasn't been doing that well on price-wise either. I said this in the very beginning when this Unit projects came out that they were really gimmicky and very, um, you know, something that wouldn't really survive for the long term. And now, uh, in Unitrade, obviously, they raised a lot of money. Deleuze got some of that money uh, to work on Developer. And then he was saying on private chats that uh, I'm maybe going to be leaving from Unitrade and etc. And my video, previous video, goes really well into that. And then he raises this token and gets to raise total $950,000, 220k through pre-sale, which they had only 100k left. I don't know this number, this is not an image done by me. So um, he had a lot more money than 320k from his past stuff. And I don't know, there was not really a lot of people. Uh, the DistX website listed two people on the company. Where did that all the fucking money go? I mean, <laughs> I mean, seriously, you spent so much money in like matter of three months or so, and you get only 90k or was it 100k left in your bank? Like, damn, like, and especially the Ethereum went up uh, after since this uh, sum was uh, gathered. This was back in when Ethereum was probably $200 or something. So uh, absolute madman. And here you can see the um, following project path. He worked on Switch, uh, WAC token, Ghost, Unitrade, and then DistX. And all of these projects, Switch especially, had many, many things on their roadmap. None of them were delivered. I lost a lot of money on that um, thing. I was really um, still a bit salty about it, but it's bygones and bygones. Uh, whacked. Um, I didn't invest. I got an airdrop, sold it. Ghost, also a lot of people lost money on it, but it's back now. Adrian is no longer involved. And then obviously Unitrade also gone down. It didn't deliver uh, delays. A lot of this X also had a lot of delays. So, I mean, it's not a guy who sticks around and does his fucking work. And this is what we have seen over and over again. And this is what happened right now. And also interesting thing is this act did partner up with BitBoy. And as you can see, BitBoy did three videos on this act and uh, most trusted low gap gem. Well, that aged <laughs> pretty well and all of these other 100x explosive potential. I mean, maybe 100x down. Um, <laughs> and also, funnily enough, BitBoy also did videos on Unitrade at least three times and see this one that is MYX. So a bunch of fucking pretty scammy or borderline scam projects. And I think BitBoy also, and yes, BitBoy did also video on Ghost. I also have a faint memory he did video on Switch, but he might have deleted it or I wasn't able to find it. But he has known Adrian for a long time or some of the people that fixes him up with these gigs know Adrian and that's where the connection has been built up. And that's why they have both um, shield. He has shielded all of these projects almost that Adrian has been part of. And I, uh, you know, I've been very critical of BitBoy. He has clean, cleaned up a bit of his act. He's no longer working with anonymous developers, which is a good progress. But like, hey, this this was not really good for him. And and yes, I said as I said here, you know, a lot of these features that they were promised to bring. This decks. It never got delivered. I mean, was it ever going to be delivered? They just ran off with the fucking money, basically. And and, and that's just been really the case. And then we have the most interesting thing is when we have Trust Swap and... Uh, oh, God. Like, I, I thought this was, like, literally written from a soap opera when I heard Jeff's name because, like, Jeff is, like, the worst person to really go after after the all hatched out fucking scams and everything that happened and like how is the trust swap going to be fixing things which i've also been down in the toilet since my video and all the drama that basically um you know came to pass and it's just um a goddamn mess uh, this the only way to really describe all of this and i told you i told you that don't invest on this project 
do not invest in disk X because Adrian is involved and he didn't deliver on previous projects. He just jumps onto another project, works on multiple projects. And hey, in, in next in, dub, in January, he's probably gonna be joining another project. But maybe then people will be a bit smarter in understanding that this guy is not a very competent developer because he doesn't seem to be able to produce a lot of things himself, uh, as it was in the case of Unitrade, a lot of outsourcing things. And it's just like, I mean, they did deliver the actual Dist X platform. Was it successful? I leave that to the investors. I never invested in any of those projects. And overall, like, <laughs> I mean, what can I tell you guys? I mean, I told you, you know, invest wisely. Think about whether or not a team's going to deliver before you dump your ETH into their, uh, into their OTC. Do not invest in it because Adrian is involved. Some people didn't listen and now they lost a bunch of money. And this was really hard fall because the developers said we're going to exit and there's no reason the, the price come back. This looked very different from like MYX or any other project that was scammed in the past. Like there's still like some moderators and admins who keep telling, yeah, yeah, it's going to go up, go up, go up. But this is no longer the case. This act is dead because the developers announced that it would be dead. And now it's going to be free fall. I don't think there's any ways to basically cash out your money unless there's some pending orders on any of these exchanges. If I was you, I would be really fast going on those exchanges and sell if there's any trades whatsoever, limit orders left there uh, to be had. But um, I feel sorry again for the people who invested. But hey, I told you guys, but and here you can see the end result. And I will see you guys on the next investigation, whenever it may be. If you want to support my work, you can leave a tip or two. I'm not obviously accepting this X because I will not do anything with it. But, uh, you know, NFTs, anything you want to give, obviously appreciate it. And that will motivate me to more to do more investigations. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. There will be a written version released later, which will have more information that this video had will be like a more compensating type of an article, but I have a lot of other work that I have to tend to before that will come out, but it will be on Publish OX. Thanks for watching and stay safe, guys. I will see you soon.